Now you may or may not be thinking, is this in fact the worst mod you've ever played, ISR Productions? And to that I've got to say, it's probably not the worst mod I've played, I've played a lot of terrible mods, but it's definitely one of the most interesting mods I've played. That's right, today we'll be looking at the Rise of Italia mod. I would tell you exactly what this mod is supposed to be about, but when I went to the Steam page, the description said, go ahead and check the discussions page. And then I clicked the discussions page to find out what the fuck's going on here. The Steam servers went down. That could have been a sign for me not to play Rise of Italia mod, but uh, no, it just made me want to play it 12 times more. You know, we've had mods at uh, 1.0. We've had a mod that started off on a 0.1. Never quite had a mod that starts off in a 0.08. Already we can notice a few familiar faces here. We've got Patain, Roosevelt, Stanley Baldwin, the Kaiser, Mustachy Hatman, Hirohito, and Generic Slavman29. But you know, it is what it is. I want to go ahead and check out what the map is exactly like, and... Um... It's not the worst old history map I've seen, there are quite a few familiar faces here. One of my favourite things to do in, in a new mod is to check the ruling parties and ideologies of the countries around. It's a good way to check exactly just how much love the mod developer has put in. Like, they, they've made Britain a republicanist, um, Siam's an authoritarian dictatorship, and, uh, Indonesia is a... Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. One of the first things I've noticed in the mod is that America starts off with something that I'd consider a little overpowered. Now, excellent economy here is pretty fucking good, but um, honestly, it has it has nothing on Mexico's poverty economy. Oh, this is gonna be a whole bag of fucking cancerous worms, isn't it? I also I'll be at i63 with Bo and Remy, so if you wanna come meet me or get something signed, I will be there, buy some merch, hang out with me. It's uh, Bogum UK. Feel free to follow me on Twitter for more details. Of course, though, in the Rise of Italia mod, I've gotta go ahead and play Italy. First thing I've noticed is that I'm pretty sure we start with the exact same army as we do in Vanilla, and the best way to check that is to check over here in Ethiopia, and even though we've already annexed it, our Ethiopian war troops are still here. God, I love mod. Faction-wise, it doesn't seem like there's many. We've got Austria-Hungary, which is all the lands Austria-Hungary used to own in a faction. We've got the Balkan Union, and the only other faction I can see is the actual allies. So it's not that bad. I, am, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's gone on in this world. I love a mod developer who can future-proof their mod, as you can see here in the Russian focus tree. We've got White Russia, Red Russia, Black Russia, even room for Pink purple, and rainbow rush- wait, no, not rainbow Russia. So I can only assume there was some sort of great war fought at some point, because once again, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on in this mod, or what the premise is, but I know that Philip Patain is in charge, and it would take a geopolitical disaster for him to get in power. Wait a sec, isn't this just the base French focus tree with a few things renamed? Oh my fucking god. Well, I thought poverty economy was bad, but boy, wait until you meet depression economy. Not entirely sure what the game means by Britain being a republicanist party. I'm assuming they mean conservative, but it would be very odd if Britain was a republic because they still have King George over here. Shh, nobody tell them I'm still in power. The Italian focus tree's here though. Not entirely sure exactly what the fuck's going on over here though. <laughs> she just fell off the fucking earth. Wait, am I reading this properly? So Italy gained independence and formed during the Napoleonic Wars and then their leader killed Napoleon Bonaparte single. This is what this mod is based on. This is what this mod is based on. America's gone nationalist and it's led by a fucking priest. Yep. Welcome to the mod. I was wondering how quickly it'd be before Mussolini showed up, but it was uh, a month from the start date, and we've uh, we've already found Mussolini. Two paths in the focus tree here: either statism, which I unfortunately can't do because um, error, missing party name, mutually exclusive with nationalism. Oh wait a sec! I just know in my decisions I can build up the economy and go to excellent economy if I just have 700 political power. So don't mind me, just gonna go ahead and go AFK for like two minutes. Wait a sec! If I do nationalist uprising, I get 52% war support and 26% stability. Why are they such random numbers? My current ruling party is the Partito Nazionale Stato, led by Benito Mussolini. But I want to be led by the Partito Nazionale Italiano, also led by Benito. Mussolini, um, Italian politics, everyone. Now, I don't know if I've pointed out already that this mod's a bit overpowered in terms of focuses and national spirits, but, um, it's kind of a bit overpowered. 
Anyway, don't mind me basically cheating here. So I went AFK for another year of in-game time because I realised you could build up your economy a second level to a boosting economy. I don't know what that means. Also, nothing's happened in the world and Japan now wants me to join their faction. So I'm going to assume they've taken out... Yep, they've taken out China. So I... I do I join? Do I really want to fucking join? Yeah. Sure. Why does it fuck? Ah, oh, France is it? I was gonna kill France. Do I pick Armored Warfare and get two fifty percent research bonuses for armor, or do I pick Grillampo and get two fifty percent armor bonuses for technology? Which one do I pick? Well, jack shit has happened in the world. It's nineteen forty-one. I guess I might as well invade Austria. So Japan declared war on Britain, and now they're getting navally invaded by Spain. Everything makes sense. My war, on the other hand, was, um, it was incredibly boring. Oh my fucking god. They capitulated. Oh my fucking god! Well, Britain's dead. Got taken out by France and Spain, so the only other person we declare war on now is Germany! <laughs> I literally, I, what fucking world are we living in? Uh, I also just noticed that Romania is called Eastern Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so Germany joined the Balkan Pact, which is just a whole bunch of fun for me, really, because now I just get all this land for free, and, um... It does still not make me want to kill myself. So I haven't moved on this front at all because the AI actually built forts all along the border. But I have a very, very sneaky plan. We're going to invite France into the war now because I didn't invite them. Because, you know, why would I want the smelly French involved? And we're going to see if we can take them on a two-front war and uh, wait a fucking second. They just took all their troops off the border! Oh my fucking god. Oh my... Fucking God! Yeah, I'm sorry, Eastern Rome, but uh, I, 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 just, I can't live in a world where Romania is called Eastern fucking Rome. <laughs> Who made this mod? Who fucking made it? Oh shit, no, Eastern Rome joined Black Russia in a war! Black Russia! Oh, fuck, it's just all coming off now. The Communist States of America joined the Commune Block. Communists. Doesn't matter if Russia's black, white, red, yellow, purple. It does not matter because they will always get encircled. <laughs> so, so I'm nuke New Finland. <laughs> Why? Oh, just, just fucking savor that right there. Black Russia has capitulated. <laughs> So fucking dumb. Oh, for some reason, the French are at war with the communists and they're actually fighting inside my land, despite the fact neither me or now my puppet Black Russia are involved in this conflict. There you go, I went ahead and joined though, so I can, I can feed Black Russia a bit of that red land. You know that mass immigration to America from Italy in the early 19th century? Well, I've got a second wave of immigrants for you, America, you communist prick. That's right, get ready for five pizza shops on a single street. Oh my god, they just capitulated and gave me a million guns. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but nice. There you go, I went ahead and puppeted America, but took all the oil and good stuff off them, and I've got them their new Italian overlord, where they'll be ordering from Papa John's worldwide pizza distribution every day. Yeah, speaking of Papa John's, uh, Black Russia's feeling pretty fucking hungry. You know, just for the shits and giggles, I'm gonna invade Poland too. Why the fuck not? I'm sorry, Poland, you almost got away with the World War II simulation game without getting invaded one time, but, uh, not today. Yep, also invading Greater Armenia. Don't know what the law is behind this either. Just realized I sank a carrier in the Mediterranean here, and if you don't know which carrier that country is from because of the flag, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let you know it's actually from the Baltic Union uh, state. T Terra Mariana. Th they've made carriers. Oh, God, sorry. Not one carrier. They had two carriers. Oh, my God. Oh, I sunk those two carriers, and now the Estonian government's trying to fucking DDoS me or something. Look at the five FPS. Ah, oh, Italo Balbo feels ill, eh? Well, um, I think it might have to do with the cancerous growth that is a dog growing out of the side of his face. Hey, look. Black Russia's gonna be bigger. Yeah, I, I think that's enough of this, Mart. I, I, <laughs> 
don't know what the fuck has even happened. It's so fucking stupid. I gotta give the mod creators credit, all right? I wouldn't say it's a bad mod. I think it's just badly translated, and um, a few of the stuff just needs a bit more work. But uh, guys, keep keep it up. Um, it, it was it was fun to play. I can I can say that it's definitely fun to play. But uh, that, that's enough for me. I'm sorry. Uh, let me let me know when you update it, though, and I'll I'll come back. Uh, but again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a like and subscribe button. But for now. Uh, I need I need a break from Oi4. <laughs>